Welcome to my channel. My name is Luba and today I'm going to be doing just a little bit more in-depth tutorial on how I do my skincare in the morning and what I do for my foundation. So I really don't separate my skincare from my foundation. I really feel like they're, they go right in line with each other, especially in the morning. So the first thing, it's still winter. This is February. My skin has been really kind of crazy this year because it's been switching to being, you know, zero degrees, minus 12, minus 15, to the next day being 30 degrees. And so that's a lot of dryness from being in buildings in certain environments where there's air coming out, and especially if you have central air or depending on the kind of heating you have in your house or in your office. So in the winter, I usually switch to a super powerful moisturizer that's a lot stronger than what I use in the summer. So in the winter, I use this fabulous TimeWise Repair Volume Firm Day Cream. I use this day cream because it has SPF 30 in it, which is really where the minimum of your SPF should be for your winter routine and summer all throughout, really. Want to say hi, Marquesa? No, she's smelling my thing. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Saliva is going everywhere. Ew, ew. Get, ah, sit down, sit down. Gross, good thing I have a paper towel here. Now this is usually for people who are much older than I am and for someone who really has extremely dry and damaged skin. I started this, using this cream in the winter for my winter routine about three years ago when I had serious skin problems and I really wanted to get rid of dark spots sun damage and I really needed something extra reparative. So it really fixed up my skin but now I just really like it for my routine in the winter because I'm used to it. I love how it makes my skin feel and it's super moisturizing for those dry days. Are we gonna do that? Are we really gonna do that? Really? Really Marquesa? Seriously? You don't fit in my chair behind me. No. <laughs> really? The nice thing about this moisturizer is that it pops out like that. You just press it down and it's right there. And you just take it out. Spread it a little. And I actually put it on my neck. And with the leftover, I put it on my neck because I do have kind of a wrinkly neck. I don't know. I think that's genetics. And I really just blend it down. Really, Marquesa? <laughs> this is the story of my life. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, so then I put it on my forehead um, and up to my eyebrows. Now notice I'm, I'm leaving the under the eye area for my eye cream, so I'm not applying the moisturizer there. And then if I have anything left over, I just usually put it right on the back of my hand. This is where we normally show age around our eyes around our neck and decollete and then the back of our hands. The next thing that I do is super, super important, not for you, I know it looks like a toy, is this awesome eye cream. Are you as distracted as I am by this dog? Seriously? Sit down. Sit. Sit. The coolest thing about it is that it has this really cool special metal wand. I don't remember the name of the metal, but I can look it up. And the cool thing about it is that it's um, it cools down the nerves in the area right under your eye, so it really helps to take the puffiness out, and really this is the strongest eye cream that we have. Now I don't use this every time, I usually use the one from TimeWise line from Mary Kay that has just a firming eye cream that's moisturizing. This one I particularly love right now because for some reason under one of my eyes I, f I found a wrinkle, so I really want to get rid of it. I really want to wake up my eyes. I haven't been sleeping well. So this is like my go-to when I need it. Usually I use a firming eye cream because I don't have that many wrinkles that I want to get rid of. This is super powerful wrinkles under the eyes. So you don't need a lot. So many girls tell me that I'm young, I'm in my early 20s, I don't really want eye cream until I'm in my 30s, so I'm not really going to put it on, I don't really need it. 
Well, that's kind of a myth because when you get to your 30s and then you find that one wrinkle and you're like, oh wow, I'm getting crow's feet, you kind of want to prevent that from happening and you have to start early. So I really look at eye cream. Number one is prevention mode. Prevention from getting in your 30s and you're like, what is this under my eyes? I didn't see it before. I didn't think this would ever happen to me, but gravity took over. The second thing, which I should probably have said that it's number one because it's more important. Eye cream is moisturizer for your under the eye area. The area under your eyes is the only area on your face that doesn't have oil glands. So your face has pores, oils come out, some of us get really oily um, skin, but the area under your eyes doesn't. So there's no natural moisturization. And when you use um, moisturizer for your face and put that under your eyes, that moisturizer considers the fact that your face has pores and your face has oils coming out. So it's going to moisturize in a different way than it needs to be moisturized under your eyes. So you actually may be doing yourself a disfavor and really doing yourself harm if you put your regular moisturizer for your face under your eyes. So I highly recommend pick up one of these guys. If you're in your, I don't know, 18 to 50 kind of age bracket and you want to stick with something that's just prevention mode and good moisturizer for your eyes, I would say use a time-wise firming eye cream and I will post a link to that below. Okay, the yeah. next thing I absolutely need is my satin lips. And this is my awesome satin lips lip balm. It doesn't have any alcohol so it doesn't dry out my lips. I love that. Super important to have a foundation primer. This one has SPF 15, so it gives me additional protection from free radicals in the air. And so I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick, then I'll be back and we'll do that. Of course, we all want to have flawless skin. I think that's a given because I definitely want to have flawless skin, get rid of some of this pinkness and discoloration that I still have a little bit on my face. And the first thing is going to be skincare. That gets rid of that, um, those dark spots, the pores, everything that you have a problem with that you feel like you need to cover up. Use skincare to really prevent it, to really clean that out. I am a big believer of having naked skin um, and feeling good in your naked skin. This is the first time I've done like an extended video where I don't really have anything on my face. We all want flawless skin as women. We all want to walk outside, go to Wegmans, go to stores and, and feel like we don't have to cake on foundation and things and makeup to cover up what we don't like on our face. So the first thing is absolutely use amazing skincare that's going to give you that flawless look that you want. But on the days when you do want a little bit more of that HD, super awesome, flawless skin, use a foundation. In the winter, I use liquid foundation. My skin gets a little bit more dry, so I definitely like a liquid foundation. And so today I'm using, um, this foundation, it's called Time Wise Luminous Wear Foundation. You can see that pink on the back. You can see this is shade Ivory 4. It's a really large tube. Like, honestly, this lasts a really long time. So what I mostly do in the winter or in the days when I want a little bit more contoured look, but without actually using contour things, in you know heavy foundations, I just apply my winter found my summer foundation color on the in the hollow of my cheeks and like half my face down, and the lighter foundation that I usually use in the winter that's my true color right under my eyes and the top of my brow bone. And then quick tip about foundation and applying your foundation: definitely make sure that you use a beauty sponge. I love this beauty blender. It's definitely worth your investment. Don't buy the one from, you know, a TJ Maxx or Home Goods for like $4. They do not work, I promise you. I absolutely recommend our liquid foundation brush from Mary Kay. That's my second favorite thing to use because it just so easy to clean, so easy to apply and blends your foundation right in. Definitely don't use your hands. You know you have oils on your face, you have oils on your hands too. That's why you have to wash your hands like gajillion times during the day because they get sweaty or oily. So 
I absolutely recommend please use your foundation brush when applying your liquid foundation or mineral or any foundation because that way you're not putting oils from your hands onto your face yeah because make sure you pat your foundation on either patting motion or with your brush just kind of buffing it buffing kind of motion will help your foundation to stay on and not get all like mixed in with your facial hairs like the little fuzzies that you have and it'll just look more polished and definitely use a setting powder i'm using the mary Kay translucent powder it's super awesome and i actually oftentimes use just my my liquid foundation brush i know some people call it baking or whatever like don't bake your, your face well, translucent time. powder especially for the places like your t-zone <laughs> I often just use my liquid foundation brush and just look quickly go over my t-zone and right under my eyes to prevent the particles from my eyeshadow falling down on my eye uh, on my cheeks and in the t-zone this will help to uh, prevent or prolong your matte looking skin It'll so prevent you your skin from getting oily too quickly in the day and then you can just reapply it real quick so just to go over everything quick Moisturize with SPF, eye cream, then you're going to put on foundation primer and then you're going to put on your foundation using your liquid foundation brush. If you want a more finished look, definitely use a finishing powder like translucent powder that will definitely help. You wanna come join me? You wanna sit here? This is like what happens all the time. It's crazy, I'm serious. This is just... Okay, you can get on and sit down. You wanna get on and there and sit? I guess I guess you're just gonna stay there. You wanna stay there? You wanna say hi? Say hi. You wanna stay there? Say please. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I hope that you enjoyed your tutorial. Find more ways to beautify on my blog, borntobeautify.com, and subscribe to my channel to make sure that you get future videos.